ESPN lost millions of subscribers last year and their ratings went down a lot. So they fired over 100 people today thinking this could solve, help solve the problem. Problem is it's only a temporary plug. They didn't fix the overall problem. The overall problem is they talk about sports not enough. They talk about politics too much. This is a sports channel. People want to hear about sports. And the other problem is if you really, really want to talk about politics, you have to talk about both sides. Last week on First Take, Max Kellerman went on a five-minute rant about why he doesn't like Donald Trump and why the Patriots shouldn't have normalized Trump by visiting the White House. I mean, Trump almost got half the vote. I mean, that is a recipe for disaster. You're going to lose a lot of viewers. Only 25% of people uh, view themselves as a Democrat. I mean, are you trying to only appeal to 25% of the country? Look, there's nothing wrong with having political viewpoints. I don't, I don't care what side of the aisle you're on. This is a sports show. And of course, ESPN doesn't get rid of any of the people who actually talk about politics all the time, like Max Kellerman, Jamel Hill, Kevin Blackstone, the list goes on and on. And even people like Michael Wilbon don't talk about it all the time, but they talk about it a little too much for a sports show. They just don't understand their problem. They even fired the one an African-American uh, conservative from... You know, the NBA show, her name is uh, Sage Steele. They fired her. They demoted, I mean, I guess they didn't fire her. They demoted her. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. So they, they, all these other people that talk about politics from the left side get promoted. And if you talk politics on the right side, like Kurt Schilling or Sage Steele, you get demoted.